Hello my darlings, welcome to 5 Minute Review. Okay, so this week as you can see from the title, our 5 Minute Review is going to be on the W7 Prime Magic Eye Primer. Um, and if you guys know me, you will know that I absolutely adore my primer that I got from them. Um, do I have it handy? No, I don't have it handy. Why don't I have it handy? Anyway. So it was the green one that I really liked, which was for anti-redness. Um, it's basically a rip of the Smashbox, but I find it really, really good. So I then went and I got their eye primer and I find it was really long lasting. It was smooth over the eyes. It, almost... it has that sort of powdery feel once it's gone on. It seems creamy as you're rubbing it in, but once it's in, it has that sort of powdery feel to it. Um, so then your powder does just cling to it, which I think is really, really good. It has um, an applicator. So it has this type of applicator here, which I find quite handy just to dot on. Um, and then once you've got it on, just sort of pat it in or just smooth it over your eyes before you put your eyeshadow on. As I say, it is incredibly long lasting. It is really, really good. And as you guys know, you'll probably be able to see today, I'm not wearing eyeshadow or anything because um, my eyes are kind of dried out because I've just been a wee bit run down. Um, but I find whenever I put this on, it doesn't really dry out my eyes. It helps keep them quite I'm not going to say moist because that's not the right word, but it, it, it doesn't dry them out. Let's just say that. Now, that's the positives. The negatives about this, I have to say, are the fact that the packaging is really, really bad. Check this out. I dropped this. It didn't drop far. It dropped onto my carpet. I went to pick it up and... It was broke. The bit that it screws onto is up inside the lid. So I was really, really disappointed because um, there was quite a lot left in it, as you can see. Um, there was probably about half left in this. Maybe a wee bit more. But it totally broke, so it is now not sanitary. I can't use this. This has to go in the bin. Um, I know it wasn't that expensive. It was only a couple of pounds. But the fact is I have paid for a product and it, it, it it's basically rubbish. Um, I am definitely not happy about the packaging with the way it is done. Um, and it does dry out the product really quite quickly. Now, if you if you kind of stir it up and get it quite quickly, it it will work out okay for you. But I have to say, um, on this, I actually wouldn't buy this product again because say I have this in my bag and I set something in my bag on top of it, is is it gonna smash again? And I know this isn't smash, but is it gonna smash? Is it gonna break? Am I gonna end up with primer all over my bag? You know, these are the questions that go through my head. What is the point in purchasing a product that... I mean, and this is the other thing. You know, now that that's happened, like, it just... It's all goop and out on me. So anyway, long story short, I do not recommend this product because it is not durable. You have to be so careful. You know, you, you basically have to treat it like a piece of china because if it falls anywhere at all. I mean it fell on the carpet, it didn't fall from a great height or anything and it broke. So the product inside is good but I don't recommend it on the fact that it broke so quickly. So anyway that is my weekly five minute review. I hope it's been useful to you. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this product if you've used it before um, or what eye primer do you actually like. I do have a couple more to come. I think I'm actually going to do a series of eye primers. The next one is going to be the Avon eye primer and um, it does have a lot to live up to because as you guys know I am a big massive massive fan of my FM eyeshadow base so you know these primers have a lot to live up to anyway. So that's it for today guys. I will see you on my next video. Mwah. Bye bye.